Hello and welcome to the fourth demo of the language I'm developing, Odin. Um, today's a pre-recorded episode, not a live stream, and it's because it's very short. I've not actually added in many new features. It's mainly bug fixes and back-end stuff I've been working on. Um, but I'm going to show you some of the stuff I've done already. So I've added some new standard library stuff, so great, you can get along with it already. So I've got like the UTF-8 library, I've got a hash library, and I've got some helper functions and allocators in the mem library. I might call it memory instead, but whatever. So as you hear, it's got the UTF-8 library. If we get that open, uh, oops, get it opening. There we go, UTF-8, all this lovely jubbly stuff like encode rune. Uh, decode rune, valid rune, valid string, rune count, and rune size. They all work in there. There's also the hashing functions. So let's go to here. See, our th these are all the different hashing functions you can have. Again, useful things here. And then mem memory stuff. So go to mem. So these are memory helper stuff. So you've got like set, zero, copy, and copy non overlapping. Copy in this language is actually a mem move. And copy non overlapping is mem copy. Um, because Personally, if you, I think 99% of the time, the speed difference between mem move and mem copy is negligible, because you can actually, it'll, you can just do a quick range text. Say, "Hey, is this overlapping?" No. Okay, we'll just do a normal kind of copy. So it may go revert back to this, in that sense. And this is kind of the least surprise as well. Like you're not going to have the problems with if you just use mem copy going on. Um, you've got cop and pair in there, you've got some extra little help functions, allocation stuff, allocation header stuff if you want an allocator. And you've got custom allocators as well, like I've got an arena. So that's one of the stuff I'm going to demo today. So let's go on to this. So one thing I have a lot of use for is custom allocators. Throughout this entire compiler, I use different allocators. So for different jobs, like I have a, uh, permanent arenas, temporary arenas, stack allocators, heap allocators, and so on and forth. They're, and they're very useful. But C doesn't allow me to do it in a very nice way. So this is the way I want to do it, and this is how I've done it. So I kind of say, hey, I want to initialize my new um, arena from like context something. This is just a pointer. This is copied from C. I may change this. Again, it's a standard library. Don't worry about that. And in it from context, so this is going to use the default context at the moment to allocate with. And then defer the free here. So now I'm going to get this block of code here, and I'm actually going to push my allocator onto the context and say, actually, can you use this now for this scope? So now in here that all the new calls and all the alloc calls and whatever uses this allocator. So now this is kind of equivalent to if I had a temporary anonymous variable here to store the previous allocator and then assign that back to the allocator at the end and then signed, reassigned my thing here. This is pretty much what it is. But for me, this is um, a bit annoying to write. Um, it's, so it might, it's, again, it's two extra lines to worry about, and again, it's a bit error prone. But it's not the extra lines that I'm worried about, really, is that it's mainly I don't want myself nor others to be accessing the underscore underscore global variable for the context, which is the thread local variable, actually. Um, I want you to be using the push allocator stuff. Or if you do want the context, you just you only get a copy of it. You don't actually get the original. Like so, to get the copy, you just get the current context function. That's what it is. So you can also push a context on instead as well of an allocator. Um, so you can just do that, take a copy of it, change the allocator if you want, and then push it on. Perfectly fine. I want everything in this kind of language to be passed by value really because um, it's simpler. Um, I don't want like to have move semantics or anything like that because they complicate a lot of things and. I personally don't see them to be that much of a benefit in like a C style language like this, where I don't have a concept of a reference or anything like that, or constructors or anything like that, where they start complicating things. And yeah, maybe you need move semantics, but I don't want that. And again, I don't have those sort of ownership problems that move semantics solve, for me at least. Um, I know other people do, but eh, I'm making this language for me. So the things I've been mainly working on in the back end are these three things here. Fixing bugs, fixing some parsing error recovery stuff, and the biggest one is the minimum dependency building. So I only build the entities in my program, so they're the constants, types, procedures, whatever, um, what I actually need. So 
if I if you say okay um, this entire program here it says okay this depends this entire program this main function here the entry point oh I depend on uh, the print line value string murmur or arena all this type these are the things I depend on only use these in the build everything else within that library you don't need don't put it into the build don't build it so only build what you want and I've been working on that and it's not that difficult when you look at the implementation this is the entire implementation yes it's very lazy um, so I also include everything in the global scope I could have been a bit better to do this but eh. um, but yeah what it kind of goes is goes through the map stats sets it to this set this is technically a set rather than a hash table or a hash map I go through here find all the declaration information which holds all the um, dependency maps as well so all the um, think I does it have this what entities does it have in the um, dependencies here the depths I, I get lazy with type sometimes I'm very explicit sometimes I'm very lazy I'm not that consistent <laughs> yeah should be so that's all I've done today so thank you for watching and I hope you stay tuned for the next demos um, where I'm going with this is mainly as you might be able to guess is metaprogram so I don't want to be rebuilding everything all at once so stay there and goodbye